The beauty of being a boutique brand is we can pretty much, we get to make our decision. If we think it's hot, we really mull it over and we make sure like, is this really hot? What's hot about this? How can we make it hotter? We build out the bags. Um, we've got specific body styles, like certain patterns that we've already created. We know they're great patterns. And then we just piece everything together. We determine what colors we want to use, again, to create a certain effect. And then to the client specifications, we make their bag for them. This isn't an ordinary bag. This isn't a regular bag that you can just go into a store and get, especially when it comes to the man. It takes a certain kind of man to wear these bags. One that's comfortable in his own skin and with who he is. And it's definitely not a bag for the insecure male. Chase and I, we have a really interesting working relationship. I mean, we're, we're, we're brothers, so we've known each other our entire life. I mean, he and I, we've always had style. It's always been a constant since we've been adults. So really being able to bounce things off of him, you know, run concepts by him, and see him utilize his personal style in, in our business model, man, that's been awesome. You know, we see the action in these colors. And sometimes I don't see it, and he'll see it. And then when he explains it and breaks it down, it just makes perfect sense. So I think, you know, just having my technical eye, uh, his creativity, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's an awesome combination. Um, and I, I, think, I think that's really the only reason that we're able to turn out the products that we're able to turn out. I think it's safe to say that we're like a dynamic duo. I know just about everything about him, and he knows just about everything about me. We don't necessarily complete each other's sentences, but when it comes to when it comes to the fashion, we, we definitely uh, complete each other's thoughts. Well, we operate concierge, so we always travel to our clients. Honestly, it makes sure that they're really comfortable because they're in their they're in the setting that they're accustomed to, so they can let their hair down, you know, have the shoes off, whatever. And we can just get really comfortable quickly. We operate as advisors, you know. We don't go in and say, wear this or wear that. And at the same time, you know, we're not those tailors that just go in, don't give you any advice and just let you put together something that may not make any sense. Basically, we dress our clients to be the best possible versions of themselves. We make suits, we make shirts for clients, we make trousers, blazers. I tailored for a lot of, of, of big brands, moved off to New York and uh, tailored for Hickey Freeman, tailored for Brooks Brothers. And uh, I mean, I've pretty much, I've tailored on every high-end menswear brand you think of, from Zinnia to you know, Armani, uh, Dior Homme. We're into the Euro fit, you know, where if you're a slim guy, your suit should reflect that. You don't need to be in a suit that, that, that you're swimming in. So the fit is first and foremost. Uh, the fabric is, is second. Uh, we pick really cool, timeless cloths that you can wear this year. You can wear, you could imagine wearing it five, ten years out. And then just the cut, you know, uh, the lapels, the way we cut our pockets, the way we cut our vents, just everything. We try and do things timelessly, like great products. But, you know, when you see, when you see a Maserati from ten years ago, it's still a dope Maserati. We're trying to put ourselves in that same position that a guy can have our suit, look in his closet in 10 years and say, damn, I still love that suit. So I compare this evolution of style to the Earth's evolution. Uh, it's, it's undeniable and it's ever changing and it's the inevitable. So you're either one of three things. Um, you're either the one doing the changing you're the one keeping up or you're the one that's left out. So we just want to let people know that it's okay to dress nice. Um, it's okay to throw in that pocket square or wear that necktie or for you to have a nice taper in your jacket so that it actually complements your form. We want to introduce you to style. We want to introduce you to lifestyle. We want to introduce you to Patrick Henry and company.